at 4 o'clock, we told you a petition was circulating to remove Johnson County Commissioner Mike Brown from his leadership role after a controversial Facebook post. KCTV5's Casey Jones is live from Johnson County. So, Casey, you spoke with Brown's opponent. I did. Shirley Allen Brand, she is running against Mike Brown. She's trying to get his District 6 County Commission seat. She believes comments like what Brown put on Facebook further divide the community. But the local NAACP says Brown was only speaking the truth. In a lengthy Facebook post citing an increase of violence against police, citizens, and an increase of vandalism, District 6 Johnson County Commissioner warned citizens to prepare for, quote, coming war. Commissioner Mike Brown's post goes on to tell people to, quote, buy a firearm and ammunition and take a class now to learn how to safely defend yourself and your property, something Olathe NAACP President Henry Lyons says is already happening. And statistics show people these days of all races, religions in America arming themselves. The latest industry data shows nearly 5 million Americans purchased a firearm for the first time in 2020. Every demographic group surveyed reported an increase from black to Hispanic, Asian and white. Commissioner Mike Brown did not return our calls or emails and he has deleted his Facebook post. Brown is up for re-election in November. He is running against Shirley Allen Brand. To promote people buying guns and bullets and to me that is just causing the decisive, you know, just leading the public to chaos. Instead of furthering the divide, Alan Brand says she would like to promote unity. And then having the think tanks and having uh, focus groups, let's hear about, you know, what are the things that we need to be doing to create a better culture? What more do we need to be doing to the police department, to meeting with groups? And let's bring those groups together. Lyon says the word war might be extreme, but he does agree with people taking precautions. If they are anticipating a destruction of their community or of their businesses, War is probably not the correct term, but it sure sounds like they're playing on defending themselves. So that petition that we mentioned earlier, trying to get Mike Brown to step down from his vice chair position, it has already reached 2,800 signatures. Live from Olathe, Casey Jones, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Casey.